Good morning, Panthers. My name is Santiago, and here are your morning announcements. Panthers, the quest for justice and peace art competition is coming up. Your artwork must be submitted by January 5th. Your artwork must include the life of Dr. Martin Luther King Jr. Panthers, today's random Pokemon of the day is Drampa. Drampa was introduced in Pokemon Sun and Moon. It lives in the Grandpa Woods. It likes hanging out with people and having a good time. Panthers, today's song recommendation is to wish impossible things by the cure. Being on December 7th, 1941, the USA declared war on Germany and Italy after declaring war on Japan for the Pearl Harbor attack. What's up Paris High School? Um, we had a crazy month in sports this month. Um, so far, Mike Tyson and Roy Jones Jr. had a fight. Mike Tyson hasn't fought in 15 years, and Roy Jones Jr. hasn't fought in three years. It was crazy to see Mike Tyson fight for his first time, while me seeing him fight for my first time. It was it was pretty dope. And then under the undercard for Mike Tyson, Jake Paul, a YouTube sensation, whatever, and Nate Robinson, an NBA player, they both fought under the undercard. And I know you guys seen all the memes and. Jake Paul absolutely dominated it and knocked out Nate Robinson. It was a crazy fight. Um, but yeah, this month was crazy with the fights. And in football, the Pittsburgh Steelers are undefeated. I know how to self promo my team. And the race for the playoffs begin. So we're close to the Super Bowl, so let's go. Panthers, the 2020 Computer Science Ed Week or Hour Code, which falls this week from the 7th to the 13th, is happening now. If you're interested in participating this week, Follow these simple steps. First off, go to www.ozaria.com, sign up as a student. The class code is Sync Speed Soft. Uh, be sure to sign in with your Google account. Panthers, don't forget, next week is finals week, so every day will be a minimum day, and don't forget to study. It comes along just once a year. How are we doing out there, Pantherland? This is Mr. Padilla, and we have a message on behalf of the counseling team. Oh, wait a minute. Let me take this off. Ah. I think I'm more scary without the mask. <laughs> All right, anyways. Um, hey, hi, this is Mr. Padilla, and on behalf of the counseling team, we have a little message for you. So first of all, as you know, it's finals next week. At the end of this video, um, we will have the schedule for finals posted on there in case you haven't seen it or haven't heard. Uh, scheduling is a little bit different next week. So when the video ends, uh, take a look at finals and you obviously can pause if you need to. Uh, furthermore, on December 15th, which is next week, is also the final date to apply for the Cal State universities. For example, San Marcos, San Diego State, um, so on and so forth. Um, so if you still need to fill out your application, if you still need to turn it in, please do so. The deadline is December 15th. Uh, you have Dr. Dorado that will be available for you to help you out. Obviously, your counselor is always available. Dr. Dorado is our main college and career counselor. Those of you that are seniors that are in the AVID program, as you know, you have Perez and her team always working with you. So just get on it, okay? The other thing also to give you some good news, we have another 50 students that completed their fossil applications. Oh, way to go. That means raffle time. So there will be a raffle uh, at a later date and we'll let you know who wins. So good job. And talking about FOSFA, during the break, you can work on your FOSFA. We have individuals from a program called CalSoap that will be available Mondays and Tuesdays during winter break to help you with your FOSFA applications and community college applications. So uh, please look for your email or look to your email for further information about that. The next thing, second semester is upon us. Finals weeks is, is next week, then you have winter break. If you have any questions or concerns about 
uh, second semester, please email your counselor before December 18th. Before December 18th. Okay, email your counselor if you have any questions or concerns about second semester. And with that said, I want to wish you a safe and relaxing winter. On behalf of Mrs. Tran, Mrs. Lopez, Mrs. Salvador, Mrs. Duarte, Mrs. Candy Douglas, Dr. Dorado, Dr. Weiss, Abby, Dora, Rich, Viv, or Vivica, Aleda, our interns, um, we want to wish all of you a safe and relaxing winter break. And please, the word relaxing, take a break. You deserve it. We all do. And reflect on family. Blessings to all of you. Um, Mr. Padilla and the counseling team signing off. Take care. It comes along just once a year. On winter's wings, December's rear. Ah, humbug faces come. Hey, Panthers, here's some more by Mark Rodriguez, Genesis Santiago, and Violet Canton. Christmas is coming up, uh, so here are some of our traditions. Uh, during Christmas, my family and I usually open our Christmas gifts at 12 a.m. on Christmas Eve. And on Christmas Day, we eat tamales, pozole, and all that good Mexican food. What about you, Santi? On Christmas, we do about the same thing we do on Thanksgiving. We go to someone's house, we make some food, whoever makes some dish, right? But on this time, instead, we bring all our presents and we open them. But not, we don't open them at the time we want. We open them at a specific time, like at midnight or if we want earlier, earlier, because we might have something planned. But we open every gift one by one. We don't open them just all together. We open them one by one. It's literally last year, I think we lasted like three hours opening gifts. We had a lot. But yeah, that's usually what we do for Christmas. We just spend time with the family and just try and enjoy Christmas, right? That's all we have for today, Panthers. See you next time. Wow.